What's up guys? It's your boy, Let's Press Play here. And today, today, the wait is finally over. Today I got here with me the Ryzen 5 3600X. 6 core, 12 thread, Zen 2 processor. We finna go to work. No, we're not gonna do no benchmarks. This is not Bye -bye. another I just dropped the box. This is not another benchmark video. No, because everybody's doing that. We're not doing that. Today, we are going to see how this bad boy holds up to emulation. We're gonna do the high-end emulators, the one that demand a lot. We're gonna do Xenia, the Xbox 360. We are going to do RSRC, blah, 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 PS3 emulator. And last but not least, we're gonna do the Yuzu Nintendo Switch emulator. Okay, in my last build, I had the Ryzen 2600G. It held up, you know, it did, it did its job, but not so much. Not as good as I thought it was gonna be. It could be my other parts of my system that need to be updated, who knows? But I will put it down in the description below to let you guys know what I'm rocking with. Also, I overclocked it just a little bit. You know, it's stocked at 3,800, 38 point. What? Blah, 3.8 gigahertz. 3.8 gigahertz, I overclocked it to 4.0. We're gonna see what it does. Now let's get into it.
Well, there you have it. The Ryzen 5 3600X, it's a total beast. It can handle any emulator you throw at it, even the high-end ones. I didn't put the FPS in the top left corner. Sorry, don't judge me, but I feel like I didn't need to. The games were playing at almost the regular speeds. Um, as far as Xenia, the games that were supposed to crash didn't crash. I played almost all the way through every level. PS3 games, the two games I picked, I literally picked in-game crashing games. They didn't crash. Played them all the way through. So there you have it, 3600X conquers emulation if you like this video please hit me with a like and if you have any questions comment below um and make sure you hit that bell all right guys i'll see you later